welcome back. This is the literally Hitler and Prophet Peace uh, Muhammad Peace be upon him. Peace show. be upon me show. Yes. yes. <laughs> um and uh we we just love left wing radicals and uh we want to talk about Antifa and I actually didn't know much about them. Um a little bit of uh, my backstory is I was very involved in extreme left wing politics back in the aughts. Um, right around, and so I, I, I didn't, I never really paid much attention when I got out of it, and I'm going to say circa about 2001, 2002, so I never really did see what the, what the real whack jobs have morphed and evolved into, so it's kind of interesting seeing this stuff, you know, I paid a little bit of attention to Antifa because, or Tifa, is it a sharp eye or a normal eye, yeah. Uh. I think it's an, uh, sharp eye, like Antifa, because it, so. it stands for anti-fascist, or, or okay. I guess you could say anti-fascist, so anti-fascist, Antifa. God, yeah. this shit's already confusing. Okay, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. All right, so, um, and I actually kind of thought it was going to come to this someday. Um, well, so, be- so you basically predicted it back in 2001? I kind of thought that, okay, so I was involved in a left-wing group that was a lot like Antifa, only a little bit more like the Judean People's Front. So it's like Antifa, but they never could get off their ass because they were too busy voting. Hmm. All right, so... (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, if you've ever seen the the Monty Python's Life of Brian, all right, they got this whole thing in the film where they're all, uh, they're they're a radical political group, revolutionary group, but they could never get past the voting. Right. All it's right. been a long time, probably since the junior high, since I've seen it, but anyways, carry on. Essentially, um, we spent six months voting on what went on a pamphlet. Uh, we never really got much done. We went to one or two protests that I went to. I think they went to, like, more than I went to, but, you know, nothing ever got done. We would have meetings, and it was long, drawn-out voting on what went on a pamphlet. And it never really went, they never really got much done. And... Uh, they say democracy, if democracy um, is, is very slow moving, like they say, my God, this was the industrial workers of the world. I'll just go right out and say, I don't think anyone's going to dox me. I don't think anyone's going to remember me. But, hmm. you know, um, I always kind of predicted eventually they were going to get up off their ass. And whether or not these guys are from that group or not, I just, nobody ever got anything done back then. Well, now Antifa is exactly what they were, and they, they were a lot of middle-class college kids whose parents were paying their way through college, and uh, never, most of them didn't even have jobs. They didn't need them, you know, and if they did, it was just to pay for beer money, you know, and man, you know, yeah. well, now they've actually gotten past voting to decide what they're going to do. I don't know. Maybe I should be a little proud of them. <laughs> <laughs> so, so uh uh, you're about to show me a video I haven't seen, so all of this is, any reaction I have is very genuine, because I don't know, I genuinely don't know what I'm looking at. So this is Quinn's call to action. Oh, wait, I think you did show me this. This is a where they tell men to dress in women's clothing, because that's revolutionary. Yeah. I thought it was just a sick fetish of mine that I'm just never going to tell anybody about. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, <laughs> never mind. Too late, too little, too late. Catch out of the <laughs> Greetings. Hey, baby. My name is Quinn, and this is Boston Antifa. There's a war going on, and if you're not part of it, you're in the way. Haven't I seen you around Cult of Prayer? Today, we are going to be talking about the male dynamic of Antifa and the ways that we can improve it. So, stay tuned, and remember to fight back. Okay, so um, i got to say, the male... What did she say? The male... So... so so it's almost like the male is like not the default. In other words, um, like this is a predominantly female movement. And but we're just going to talk about the male. How'd she say it? Say it now. Oh, I forget. The male hey, we'll sector. Sure <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right, it's probably besides the point. But yeah. I just did, did think it was kind of funny. Let's see. Okay, and fight the power fist, which isn't um, used or anything. But okay, I guess. isn't this the? Is, is, it's supposed to be the signal for, you know, united. Like, we unite. Is that what the fits for you? You know what, honestly, what I think Mostly. that is? You know what I think that is? Um, uh, pointing your four fingers and your thumb outward when you hold your hand up has already been used by somebody that a lot of people don't like. 
Oh yeah, yeah. The the, the Fuhrer, you know, the literally Hitler. Myself. Thank That's you very exactly. much. Actually, a lot of people used to do that, and it was actually Hitler that killed it. Even Americans used to do that up oh. until thirty one or so. <laughs> All right, but anyway, I don't want to get off topic here. Let's see what she's going to say about what the males in Antifa can do. I guess the women already know what's up, but they got to tell the men, hey, you got yeah. shit you need to get in order. Let's see. You need to listen to us, damn it. That's right. Rolls are reversed. They need to know, well, yeah, so. <laughs> don't tell them now. There will be know. no peace until this fascist regime is overthrown. Today, March 25th, 2017, fellow Antifa comrades took to the streets for an anti-MAGA demo in cities across... Okay, that's good that she mentions that this fascist... Wait, are we living in a fascist regime? Uh, no, not from uh, what I've uh, been uh, looking at. I didn't up. know this. <laughs> so uh, I could have been arrested for saying stuff against the government any day now. And God, I didn't know I was living in a fascist country. What was yeah, the definition of fascism exactly? Because we've been over this and I can never remember. Uh, let me look that up. All right, so fat. Okay, so they say this. No, no. Okay, all, all sarcasm aside, I know that. Define fascist. Antifa is obsessed. Means an advocate or follower of the political philosophy or system of fascism. As a noun, it means an advocate or follower of the political philosophy or system of fascism. There is one more, if you'd like it. Uh, that still didn't yeah. tell us anything. Come on. Yeah, the, the, the fascism. Okay, let me just go to fucking. Uh, come on. What's a primary? Dictionary that people like to go to. So basically, Antifa believes America is a fascist government. Um, which, I mean, I guess if America's fascist, who's not fascist would be the thing I'd have to ask one of them. Right. I mean, traditionally, you think of a fascist government as a one party system. That's kind of important in fascism. Right. Okay, um, so here it is uh, definitions on fascism. So, fascism. A political philosophy movement or regime, as that of the fascisti, that exalts a nation and often race above the individual that stands for a centralized autocratic government headed by a dictatorial leader, severe economic and social regimentation, and forcible suppression of opposition. Do they care that that doesn't fit into the um, definition of how the American government runs? Apparently not, and mm -hmm. these far leftists, apparently the... Yeah, this one right here that, that, that they this is a exalts a nation above race above the individual. Yeah, they care far more about race than the individual. Um, it's always about yeah the fucking. Okay, but fa okay, but to be fair, I mean you don't. I I do know that they said often it doesn't have to be a part of fascism, but again, it's you have to be a dictatorship. Right. Yeah, we're not under a dictatorship, under at least not yet under Trump. You know, fucking knock on wood. But, <laughs> it hasn't I, but although I don't think this is the president that will bring forth a dictatorship. Even, even if Donald Trump became dictator, he's not now. No. If he was, you would not get away with criticizing him as openly as they do. No, of course not. So you fucking be headed off to the gulags. Exactly. So um, I'm going to America. Even if America becomes. Fascist, it's not right now, but okay. Let's not deal with semantics. Let's look at some men in dresses. That's what we want to say. Yes. Across the country. However, there are many within the ever-increasingly diverse Antifa community who have noticed a disturbing trend in the movement. There is a fucking disproportionate amount of men participating in Antifa, especially <laughs> in important leaders. That's a problem, They need obviously. to get out. They, no, they need to get out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I couldn't help it. <laughs> so, get out of Antifa. What are you guys doing? Get out of Antifa. This is not the movement for you, obviously. Start bullying. Start your own misogynistic... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there you heard it, boys. They don't want you in. Start your own misogynistic movement. At least most of you. Okay, so... Uh, obviously, they are trying to say they want more girls in the movement, I'm assuming. I guess, okay, Antifa has a... Antifa, they're worried about becoming a sausage party. Is that basically what it comes down to? I guess so. Uh, it makes sense. Okay, let's see. I, I don't blame them. I wouldn't want my movement to be mostly dudes either. <laughs> At least if you're planning on getting laid at rallies. But let's, not, let's be real. Um, I remember what it was like, and everybody wanted to get laid from going to a rally. Anyway. Chip rolls. Of course. And we would like to change Don't that. Don't go to a rally to get laid. It'll never happen. Um, you, uh, unless you're like, 
unless you're like some respected guy with a megaphone that's there all the time and seen as the enlightened one that's read Karl Marx more times than anybody else, you're never getting laid. Yeah, unless you're the head, yeah, you can yeah, count you're the head, yourself out. It. Unless you're the head, you're not getting head. It's just, it's <laughs> <I'll>, like, <laughs> I'm telling you right now. We need to start putting women into positions of power in Antifa, even if they don't want it. Okay, so I remember this do bitch. Not seek oh, power. God. Okay, wait, even, wait, hold on, I can't get past, wait, even if they don't want it, this is kind of, this is, this is revolutionary, I want to give them that. So you got some girl, and she's like, oh, I'm just here to help the revolution, but I don't want to get another bitch, get your ass in the position of power, you're our president now, and you're going to tell us what to do. How do you make someone be in a position of power if you don't want it? All right. Yeah, it's not against uh, you know the, their own civil rights. Like I, I don't care to be in the okay. position. We don't care. It's not about what you want. It's about what we want. Okay. God damn it! So there was an emperor that in Rome that uh, didn't want to be emperor, and like the Praetorian Guard that was like the Marines there, they just took him and set and lifted him up and put it and just forget it. You're in charge now. <laughs> and and, and, and there's one film that portrays him saying, "No, no, I don't want to be emperor." They're like, "Long live the emperor!" And then he was stuck with the position. So I don't know. I don't know if they have something like that in mind. I guess maybe I meant uh, individual rights because uh, civil rights isn't that more uh, towards uh, uh, minorities or something. Yeah, basically. Well, right. it, it's it, no, no. Civil means civic, which means civic. that everyone's rights, the rights of the Everyone. people. Yeah, okay, but, right, yeah. Right. So, so I was right. Okay. Yeah, so civil it means rights. just white people. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't help it. Except for white people. Fuck you guys. Yeah. <laughs> back, back at the bus, please. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's see what else they got to say about women being forced to be leaders in Antifa. <laughs> They have power thrust upon them. Even positions like spokesperson should not be immune and should first and foremost be available to women because as we know, women are better public speakers and far more eloquent than men. Um, really? It, Has this been proven? Like it, without a shadow of a doubt? Is there any way to, to verify that? Yeah, please, please. Citations needed. Well, citations please. or even a couple of examples would... That'll be a little helpful. I, I, I say your work is cut yeah. out for you to prove that. But Yeah, so p please, Quinn. I didn't ever thought about that. Except their parents named them that, I'm assuming. Uh, I don't maybe. Know, maybe. Yeah, okay. So, okay, we got a guy here modeling clothing, it looks like. That's, that's, uh, that's who's got a beat. He looks like a South Park character. Yeah, know. like Stan. A little bit like Stan, Stan, yeah. And direct oh. actions, like during the March 25th Drumpf rally. So, to men in the Antifa movement... Here's how you can help. Men should take oh, the time no. to step back and reflect Hello. on their sexualities and genders, <laughs> oh. both to allow women to exercise their right to lead and to create more diversity in the end. Okay, you know how the right, the, the alt-right and the right in general is always accusing the left of emasculating men? <laughs> Yeah, no, sorry, Antifa. No, 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 leftist, re no relation to this yeah. at all. This has nothing to do with this video at all. But I just kind of just popped in my head, like in a completely unrelated note, absolutely unrelated. You know how the right is always accusing the left of emasculating the boys? I don't know. This Something about this reminds me of that. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. You, you can't get any more emasculated than this. I'm sorry. Like, you had. I'm sorry. Do you have to resort to this? All I gotta say, like, you, God, it seems like you're desperately going out of your way just to try to get laid by a, you know, Quinn. I'm assuming. God, it's like, what, what the fuck, dude? When in fact she's setting him up to get raped in prison if that's where he goes after the protest. Exactly. Jail. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine going to a protest dressed like this and then going to jail? <laughs> <laughs> what happens when you, you go to jail dressed would... in drag? Oh well, we toss a salad. I, I'm assuming, yeah. right? Well, with jelly, or, they give you choice between jelly or syrup, you know. But uh, no, I mean, no. All kidding aside, it would seem like cruel and unusual punishment if this dude showed up at a protest and got arrested. Because people get arrested at just about every protest. Because yeah. there's always that one ass hat that they decides to throw. Like I was at a protest one time. Some ass hat decides to throw. I watched this cow horse shit at one of the mounted cops. Um, he got arrested. Okay. Go figure. I, I don't like cops, by the way, okay? But right. that been said, I think if... You, and I think people should be able to mouth off to cops. If, you know, it's your right to free speech. But, you know, I don't know. There is some sort of matter that you have to, you call, have to conduct yourself. Call me a Rush Limbaugh right-wing extremist, but I think if you hurdle horse shit at a cop, maybe you should go to jail. <laughs> yeah. But, All right. 
Oh, God. But no, I, I do have to say, like, this guy... God. It's like, dude, all, all I have to say is, if if somehow this message gets to you, please find your balls, remove them, which are probably up into your sternum, because... Or pull them out. Make a yeah. decision. Yeah. Because you've repeatedly said to Quinn, oh, oh, yes, please kick me, Quinn. Oh, may I have another... Got kicked in the balls repeatedly. Dude, look at his face. Stop. He looks like not gay Jared from uh, Stephen Crowder. No, no, no. Yeah, well, yeah, but I mean, no, no, no. I mean, like, look at the expression. He looks like the kid on, like, uh, as Sam Kennison said so eloquently ago, we're talking about someone with an awkward look. He looks like the kid sitting on Saddam Hussein's lap. <laughs> he, 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 he has this. Uh, I'll be, I'm yeah. done. Is my right. is my mom gonna see this? <laughs> Um, for fuck's sake, I, I know I lost the bet, but I didn't know you were going to go this far with this. This guy, this guy does not look happy to be doing this. No. No. He has he's, he's, this... look, he's looking for that poon, and it, I'm sorry, dude, it's just not coming your way. But, I mean, my God, look at the look on his face. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, here we go. Antifa community. Start dressing as women at home for practice. To see if you wouldn't mind. Well, well, there's a plumber's crack and there's uh, that. Why is he showing his ass? <laughs> you know how they say, like, the sagging, the, I don't know if it's true, in fact, I don't think it is, but you know how they say, like, sagging your pants, like, the gangsta way is something that started in prison, to show that your ass was up for, uh, you know, for grabs if somebody was willing to protect you? I thought it was pretty uh, well documented, at least in L.A. prisons. Okay. Yeah, when, when yeah when uh, your pants were sagged, like, below your ass, so that signified that you were somebody else's bitch. Okay, I thought that meant you were available to become somebody's bitch. It could be that, too. I'd have to research it again. No relation to this whatsoever, by the way. I don't see any actual way we can compare it. Yeah. I guess our minds got carried away. Right, but but if he does happen to, <laughs> to walk into prison like this, uh, he will get tossed around. Yeah. With salad. All right, yeah, I can help it. All right, all right, here we go. Find it, and to put yourselves into our shoes. Okay, so, um, uh, I was an adventurous guy in my 20s one time. I'm not going to admit the specifics. However, I might know the psychology of somebody dressing up like a woman in the privacy of his own home. I don't think that that's going to make him understand what it's like to be a woman any more than a girl wearing over... Well, I guess chicks wear overalls now. A girl wearing a power suit in her home is going to make her feel like she understands what it's like to be a dude. Um, no. Uh, they're essentially... There's got to be some of the motivation for this besides... I don't know. Maybe the conservatives are right. Maybe they want their men emasculated so that they can completely, like, control them. Maybe. Because, be. I mean, look. It, it seems that way. I mean, uh, it seems like the, the, the women of these uh, Antifa movements, are, or at least in this case, you know, she's the one with the balls. She's the one calling the shots. Well, obviously, because she's clearly making this dude do something he doesn't want to do. Yeah. I mean, look at You his, see the expression on his face. He's that's like, what I'm oh, saying. Please just let this be over. Yeah. yeah. Let me get her a sweet poon. Even oh though, my God. I'm sorry, dude, it's not happening. Did they lower that skirt, on, you know, so his ass hangs out on purpose? All right. I think it did get lower. Oh, my God. Okay, so <laughs> let's, let's let's see. Okay, so the logic is dress like a guy at home so you'll understand a woman's plight. And if I'm missing something, let me know. No? All right, here we go. <laughs> and remember to be safe and fight back. Um, I don't think he's going to be doing a lot of fighting at all. You, you see, like, he, how he put his arm up, like, I mean, eh. yeah. uh, it's like, he looked so robotic. Everything looked so robotic. He looked like someone was holding a gun to him. Yeah, he, he's not going to have a, much of a defense, or offense for that matter. So, yeah, I don't think he's going to be fighting very much. It's like, he's the one they think is a traitor and they're trying to get him raped. <laughs> Yeah, he's the one uh, sent out to be bait. <laughs> look, I mean, God, look at his face. <laughs> oh. All right. Oh, no. comments is Dustin27, spokesperson for Boston Tifa, and we smash Vash. So, no, you don't. I would urge a uh, male member. <laughs> I beg to differ. Yeah, reading the, did, you, did you see? I don't think you're smashing anything. Did you see his eyes a second ago? He like, uh, and I smash Vash. <laughs> Uh, okay. Oh, <laughs> Looking over there. Um, I'll do whatever you tell me to. 
I would urge all male members of uh, our chapter. He keeps and looking the to his left. Chapters in Massachusetts area. I think he's reading from the script. No, no, I, I know he is. Uh, that's the point. I mean, you know, are you saying like he, he doesn't believe like uh, the movement that he's uh, promoting? I think he was drugged by the by the balls into the room to do this. I don't possibly literally. I, I think he really is a spokesman. I think he, you know, I'm sure that you'll find videos of him with a much more convincing and a much less humiliated look on his face somewhere else. I'm sure he's a committed uh, fast smasher. As I said, unfortunately, he's probably never met with a whole lot of fascists. But, um, uh, dude, you poor thing. I, I, I can't be mad at him. I can't. I, I feel sorry for this oh, dude. God, I no. Oh, I'm not. I can't. I normally get into ideological like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Think for yourself and all that. And in this case, I'm like, no, dude. Somebody take this guy away. Yeah. You know what? What are they making you do? Uh, the cringe level. Please heed Quinn's words. Uh, there is much that we can do to understand the strife and pain that uh, our men... Have you ever seen a video of somebody who was captured during wartime and, like, <laughs> the army that caught them is making them say something in front of the camera? That is what this looks like. I'm not saying... Like he's being really... held against his will. I'm not saying that's what's going on, but that's what he looks like. It's just that, that that's the feeling. Like, that, that's... Yeah, visually, that's... Yeah, this guy will not be in this movement in five years. The no. the, the doubt is written all over him. I would <clears throat> no, I, I definitely feel you on that one. He definitely doesn't feel like he's very committed to it. Like yeah, he's he's in it for all the wrong reasons. He's do, in it to smash some poontang. I was that's just, just not going to happen for right. him. And, I was just, and he's going to find that out, like you said, in like you know next five years, maybe less. Exactly. I was, okay, I was just talking to one of my kids the other day about uh, just today about uh, Chris Kyle. And if you don't remember Chris Kyle, he's the guy that made that movie American Sniper. And I remember him telling the story about how he beat up Jesse Ventura, which was basically confirmed in a court of law to be complete bullshit. In fact, this guy was a compulsive liar. Of course. Well, and, I, and one thing I, I will point out, uh, like if there was any proof, it would be very easy to find since everybody back then had camera phones. Why the fuck was this not recorded exactly. if, it did, if it did occur? Exactly. But anyways. Well, on. the reason that, and ultimately you don't even need that. You need to look at the man on the show where he said that it happened. And he has this look like somebody's going to bust me out and I don't care. You ever known someone telling a lie and, and and they know they're full of shit and it's and and you see their face like uh oh, you're I'm like, busted yeah you're just like oh yeah I, I hope to God they don't call me out on the bullshit it, please it, let this fly it's a little like that it's a little more like a kind of snarky that yeah I'm lying my ass up but I'm selling a book so who cares all yeah. right um you can see this. It, Sometimes I'm not pretending to be some kind of expert with lying, but there's sometimes when you see insincerity in somebody's face, it's so glaringly obvious that um, that, that that you don't have to be some kind of trained professional. Anyone can tell this dude will not be an will not even be a leftist in five years. I don't know what he'll be. He'll probably abandon politics altogether. But you see the lack of sincerity in this guy's face and in his voice, like you've never <laughs> yeah. seen. And I think maybe, just maybe, being uh, being convinced to do this, to dress and drag for this, he's got to know this is a ridiculous message. Yeah. It's not because dressing like a woman is degrading. I've done it at parties for the hell of it before. But the point is that um, this guy knows this is a stupid idea. And but when you're in, in left left wing groups like just like white right wing group groups, you don't tell the group that they're all being a bunch of idiots, and you know better. You just don't do it, even if it means doing something stupid and being the center of attention because the group thinks that's the best idea. I want. I would love to follow this guy. I would like to see what he's doing in two years. Forget five. I'd like to see what he's doing in two. Right. Maybe one. You know. <laughs> so anyway, members in our Antifa chapters face every day and the challenges that they have uh, we can do our part to help elevate uh, their platform and uh... he has so much fire in his voice <laughs> <laughs> like uh yeah I, i'm totally uh, aboard on this movement uh 
Uh, yeah, yeah, F- fight the power. Uh, yeah, yeah. fuck capitalism. He sounds yeah. worse than George W. Bush <laughs> in the early days of his presidency. Remember that? And you know they make fun of Uh, uh, and we need to uh, uh, find a, a way. Hey, Beavis. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I don't think this guy, this guy's probably not a moron because, and I'm giving him credit because you can tell every sense of his, his whole psyche is fighting this. His whole fucking psyche is fighting this. Allow them to express their ideas and their input on how to fight fascism in their communities. I think this is of utmost importance for both uh, the cis female, and non and I would <laughs> urge all of you to do your fair share and uh, to do more. Yeah, I would so Thank urge you. you. Until next time, be safe and fight back. I would uh, so urge you to, to fight back. Uh, you can sense the urgency in my uh, voice. Uh, yeah. Mikhail Bakunin is rolling over in his fucking grave. <laughs> Those of you who know what I'm talking about, great. If you don't, look it up. Got it. Um, yeah, that was great. That was um, that was the. Oh my god. Um, I think they should show that video a lot. I think oh. the, the alt right would appreciate it. Yep. Um, damn. I... Yeah, hey, let's, let's take a quick look at the like-to-dislike ratio. Oh, my God. It's too bad. I yeah. liked it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sincerely, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I feel uh, more sorry for this dude than anything else. I, yeah. you know, it's... And how long has that even been up? That's been up for a month. Uh, like it, yeah, like it is in, in March twenty fifth. This yeah. is what group herd thinking is like. This is what the whole th- when when you live in a bubble that nobody stands up and says, "Guys, I think we should probably reconsider this video." Uh, something's amiss. You know, no, it's no one thing. Okay, you all have great ideas. Your acting was spot on, dude. You know, whatever your name is. Okay, all of it was great, but I just don't know if it conveys the message that we want. I'm just saying maybe we should pull the video. Nobody stands up and says it. Because you don't do that in these groups. You know. And that's one thing about the alt-right that they have that the new left doesn't, is that they don't mind, it would seem, judging by what I know, they don't mind... Oh, well, yeah, let's read some comments, yeah. I gotta, yeah, you gotta read this. So, from the Boston Antifa Fucking, itself. Fucking, this is from Antifa itself. Fucking yeah. stop, it's been a few days, and none of us are amused. <laughs> Over there, I stand corrected. I stand corrected. Somebody did say something. Quit yeah. sharing this if your intent is to troll. Quit subscribing if your intent is to troll. Move on with your inbred Nazi lies. Oh, okay, I'm sorry, I, I was wrong. I thought they were saying that... Uh, it's been a few days and none of us are amused. Well, dude, you put it up. Yeah. And when you say quit sharing and yeah, quit subscribing if the intent is to troll, sorry, you're just going to expect that much more. Now, I'm going to assume that the that, that one below it is not actually Alex Jones. Because, no. Okay. That's just, no. <laughs> okay. But I do love this comment. Quinn, can I be an Antifa for a day? If I can bust a nut on you bareback. Well, that's okay, but I generally don't think you should yeah. be busting a nut on that guy bareback. Just saying. <laughs> I don't know how many people that they've made him uh, take it with. Uh, it just... No, no, no. That, that, that was directed towards Quinn. Oh, Quinn. The female. Okay, yeah. okay. Is she hot? Uh, I think so. I mean, you know, she has a mask uh, over Oh, her. That's rest, Quinn. But... That's Quinn. Okay. But, I mean, overall, I mean... Yeah, she, she looks like she'd be pretty fucking attractive. Yeah, She's probably. got nice eyes. You know, sometimes, you know, I'm, f- I'm fucking in, in my 40s, all right? I'm in my early 40s. And maybe I shouldn't be admitting that here. But here's the thing. Sometimes I miss being, like, that age. And then I look at this shit and I think, fuck. <laughs> maybe if I could work on a porno set and not deal with anything that makes me talk. Um, <laughs> <laughs> because I have to say, I probably sounded almost... I, I, I probably didn't sound much smart. I, I like to think I sounded smarter than this, <laughs> but I but I can't say that with any kind of genuine confidence. 
uh, as long right. as a hard day of making America great again. Oh, no, after a long day. Uh, after, after a long, after a long day. day of hard making America, I need this. Thank you for the laughs, Antifa. Hilarious. God, Emperor, and Holy General President Trump. At least they're letting the comments on here because <laughs> yeah. I know that lefties right. have a tendency to disable comments. Disproportionate amount of men. You're kidding. There are zero <laughs> men in <laughs> <and Antifa. laughs> Yes. I love it. Oh, my God. Yes. Oh, God. Oh, did, uh, yeah, I have to like that. I'm so... No, I, I might as well like the other one, too. But, yeah, that, that's my favorite comment right there. Should we make a comment? Uh, I don't know. Should we? Yeah, why not? <laughs> what are we going to say? I'm, I feel like I got stage fright right now. Maybe I should look up the cue cards over here. Uh... <laughs> Fascist and proud. What are you going to do? Roll a dustbin at me? I'm terrified. Nice tits. That's the kind of female empowerment I can get behind. All right, anyways, where's the comment? I guess it would be at the top, right? Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, I say, I mean, and I like, and then I'll say, and I say, also, please. Do more videos like this, Dustin. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. He said, right? Yeah. I think let's let's go back a uh, but before we do that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Dustin twenty-seven. He said twenty-seven. I'm pretty sure. Is Dustin twenty-seven? Yeah. yeah. Okay, you got it. <laughs> Uh, I mean, and I, um, uh, I'm slagging. Okay. Is that even anything in German? No. Okay. If, <laughs> if you ever want to uh, meet me in mine. Bunker. <laughs> <laughs> Message me <laughs> after Ava goes <laughs> to <laughs> um uh, hair book club on Thursday that works I can't get uh, uh, yes yeah oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's the best I can do right now there we go all right, Little Hitler, Little Hitler and Prophet Muhammad. There That's we are. Right. Hey, our, our very first comment. <laughs> All right, there we go. Yeah, brother, high five. All right, bam. So this concludes our uh, adoration to um, Antifa. Uh, whether we agree with their politics is irrelevant. They've entertained the living fuck out of us tonight. <laughs> So, oh, uh, there we go. Adolf, literally Hitler and Prophet Muhammad signing off. <laughs> <laughs>